Assalamualaikum you five students. How are you? I hope you are happy. I hope you are healthy. I hope you remember to take care of yourself. This is our second English lesson. Welcome back. Our aim for today's lesson are identify everyday classroom objects and use prepositions correctly. For this lesson, you will need handouts, pencil and eraser, and a red pen for you to mark. Let's look at our handouts for today. Starter handout 8, starter handout 9, and handout A. Please make sure you have all three handouts before you continue. Are you ready? Let's begin. First, we are going to look at everyday objects. Do you know what this is? This is a drawer. Drawer. What about this? Table. Table. Hmm, what's this? Poster. Poster. What about this one? Do you know? Mobile phone. Mobile phone. Have you seen this before? Speaker. Speaker. And this? Laptop. Laptop. This is what you use in class every day. What's this? Do you know? It's a desk. Desk. Hmm, what's this? It's a coat. Coat. Do you still remember what this is? It's a bag. Bag. What about this one? Chair. Chair. This is a notebook, notebook, and this is a pen, pen. This is a board, board, and this is a shelf, shelf. Do you know what this is? This is a dictionary. Dictionary. And this is a clock. Clock. Now I want you to try. I want you to take out this handout. This is starter handout 8. There are words in the boxes over here and there are two pictures. Okay, I want you to label the pictures correctly. Use these words and put it in the correct boxes. Remember, pause the video while you do the exercise. Ha! Did you pause the video? Are you done? Okay, let's check our answers. Take out your red pen. Are you ready? Take out your red pen. Let's look at the first picture. Number one is poster. 
please make sure the spellings are correct. P O S T E R. Poster. If you got that correct, remember, put a big tick. Number two. Speaker. S P E A K E R. Speaker. If you got that correct, put a big tick over it. Number three is laptop. L A P T O P. Laptop. Make sure these spellings are all correct. If you got that right, put a big tick over it. Number four is table. T A B L E. Table. If you get that correct, put a big tick over it. Number five is drawer. D R A W E R. Drawer. If you got that correct, put a big tick over it. Number six is mobile phone. M O B I L E. Mobile. P H O N E. Phone. Mobile phone. If you got that correct, make sure the spellings are also correct. You can put a big tick over it. Number seven, clock. C L O C K. Clock. If you got that correct, you can put a big tick. Number eight, bot. B O A R D board. Please make sure you have the spellings correct. If you got that correct, you can put a tick on it. Number nine. Dictionary. Dictionary. D I C T I O N A R Y. Dictionary. Check so that the spellings are correct. Number 10. Shelf. S. H. E. L. F. Shelf. Number 11. Pen. P. E. N. Pen. Number 12. Notebook. N O T E B O O K Notebook Please make sure you have the spellings correct Number 13 Desk D E S K Desk Number 14 Coat C O A T coat number fifteen C H A I R chair and the last one number sixteen bag B A G bag Please make sure all of your spellings are correct. If you got it correct, you can put a big tick on it. And if you got all correct, you should put a star on it. Well done, everyone. Good job. Let us continue with our lesson. Next, we are going to look at prepositions. Now, what are prepositions? Prepositions are words that help tell us where things are. Again, prepositions are words that help tell us where things are. Okay, what are the examples of prepositions? 
Let's look at it together. To help you better understand each of the prepositions, we are going to have two helpers. The first one is the cat. The second is the box. Ah, our first helper, the cat. Our second helper, the box. Can you see where the cat is sitting and where the box is? The cat is on the box. Again, the cat, the box. The cat is on the box. So the prepositions is on. The cat, the box. The cat is near the box. Again, the cat, the box. The cat is near the box. So the preposition is near. The cat, the box. The cat is under the box. One more time. The cat, the box. The cat is under the box. So the preposition is under. Mm, a box. Oh, another box. Where's the cat? Oh, there's the cat. Hmm. The cat is between the boxes. Again, one box, two box, and there's the cat. The cat is between the boxes. The preposition is between. The box, the cat, only the head. Why? Hmm. The cat is in the box. One more time. The box, the cat. You can only see the head. The cat is in the box. The prepositions is in. The cat, the box, the cat is next to the box. Again, the cat, the box, the cat is Next to the box. The preposition is next to. The cat, the box. The cat is opposite the box. One more time. The cat, the box. The cat is opposite the box. The preposition is opposite. Now you are going to try. Can you remember all of the prepositions before? Take out this handout. 
This is starter handout 9. You are going to fill in these blanks with the correct prepositions. Do you still remember what the prepositions are? On, near, under, between, in, next to, and opposite. But how are you going to answer these questions? How would you know where all these things are? Alright, do you still remember the exercise we did before, the previous handout? Do you still remember this picture and this picture? Let's look at an example. Let's look at number one. The dictionaries are dot 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 the shelf. Hmm, how do I know where the dictionaries are? Let's look at the pictures from before. Hmm, this picture. There's a dictionary and there is a shelf. Dictionaries. These are the dictionaries. There are five dictionaries over here. And the shelf. This is the shelf. Can you see where the dictionary is at? What do you think the answer is? The dictionaries are on the shelf. Again, the dictionaries are on the shelf. Can you try now? Mm -mm. Don't forget to pause while you do the handout. Are you done? Okay, let's check the answer together. But remember, take out your red pen so you can mark. Are you ready? Number one, we did this before. The dictionaries are on the shelf. Everyone should get this correct. Number two, the teacher's mobile is in the drawer. If you got that correct, put a big tick on the number. Number three, the laptop is between the speakers. Please make sure you have the spellings for between correct. The spelling is B E T W E E N between. If you got that correct, another tick. Let's continue. Number four, the students' chairs are under their desks. If you got that correct, another tick. Number five, the poster is next to the teacher's table. If you got that correct, another tick. Make sure the spellings are also correct. Number six, Harry's coat is on his chair. Number seven, Harry's bag is under his desk. Remember, if you got that correct, put a tick. Number eight, the clock is near the board. Number nine, the board is opposite the student's desks. Always check the spelling. Make sure the spelling for opposite is correct. O P P O S I T E. Number 10. Harry's pen is next to his notebook. And the last one, number 11. Paul's desk is between Harry and Ava's desks. Make sure you tick the correct answers. If you got all correct, you should put a star. Good job. Well done, everyone.
Let's continue with our lesson. Okay, take out your last handout for today. This is handout A. Alright, for handout A, you are going to write five sentences about the objects in this picture. You look in this picture, what do you see? There's a poster here, there's a chair, a bag, a coat, there's a mobile phone, a laptop here, a pen, a dictionary over here, there's a board, there's a speaker maybe here. Look at the picture carefully. And I want you to use the prepositions that you have learned, that you have seen earlier in the video to write your sentences. Can you do that for me? I want you to use this to help you write your sentences. Okay, these are the prepositions that we have seen before. On, near, under, in, between, next to, opposite. Use this note to help you write your sentences. It's also in the handout that you have done before. Okay, and also remember, pause. Hi, are you done? For your handout A, I will mark the handout. So please make sure you complete it and you submit it with the other handouts. You did a great job today. Wow, the book was get there, 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 there. A bit of a reminder. Please keep all your handouts from lesson one and lesson two together so your parents can submit them next week. And that is all for today's lesson. Thank you everyone. We will meet again in the next lesson. Bye-bye.